what's good um so i bought myself an hx55 it needed a rebuild pretty badly the old journal bearings were completely done they're in here somewhere i guess you can't really tell there but there's a lot of play in those so so i was just gonna do a video today on how to rebuild the hx55 uh, it will apply for the HX50 and the HX52. And just like the HX35, it's a journal bearing. That's the kit you'll need. It's a journal bearing turbo. So basically all journal bearing turbos, the rebuild process is the same. And for any of you that don't know, with the HX55, 50, 52, uh, a lot of the parts are interchangeable. So the 52 that's on my truck, I'm gonna replace it with this, the 55 front compressor housing. That'll allow me to run a 67 millimeter uh, comp wheel. I ordered a new one, this one's a little messed up. And I will show a picture of this. This was messed up before too, you can see. There is some uh, little divots there. But it was much worse before I gave it a little sand within a thousand grit and then 2000. So yeah, let's get into this. I already have it all apart. So any of you wanting to watch the video or learn how to do it, you can just watch this in like reverse, I guess. So when you're at the stage where I am, which means all the bearing, journal bearings are out and the snap rings, you're gonna take your new snap ring from the kit and it's gonna go in the bottom groove down there and what I use for these is usually picks and you got to be careful because it will go right through I'll show you what it looks like when I have it in there so there's the first uh, snap ring in there that's on the second uh, groove there's two journal sits in between so what I did Go in from the other side with it and hold it up with your finger and then on this side use a screwdriver until it goes into the hole. Everyone will find their own way to do it. So next goes in the journal bearing. You're going to want to grab a container or something or just pour some oil on your journal bearing because you don't want these going in there dry. Especially when you first start the truck. So I'm going to coat that pretty good. This bearing housing has been out of the truck for a long time, so it's very dry. And then you just throw her in there. And then that should be laying on top of the snap ring you just put in. And then you take the next one, put it in the top grooves, and you make a sandwich. A journal bearing sandwich. So sandwich has been completed. The top snap ring, much easier to get in there. Um, obviously stay as clean as possible when you're doing this. So now we flip the whole turbo over. I have stuff in here because I had it out for a while. And then you do the same on this side, journal bearing sandwich. Make sure you coat it in oil. I'm not gonna video this because it's the exact same thing. So next you're gonna have the thrust collar here and that's just gonna go in just like that. It sits right on top. Uh, the kit comes with these as well. That's what holds the thrust collar. I usually inspect them, and make sure they're in tight, and if they're if they're fine, I just leave them. Uh, that's up to you guys if you change those. Uh, so next, you got your thrust bearing. And obviously, you're gonna have this side facing down over top of this hole and then these two holes here line up with the pegs or whatever they're called there there we go that's in now so next is uh putting in the oil deflector oil slinger uh it does not come in the kit so i'm reusing the old one just gonna clean it off a bit here it's in good shape nothing wrong with it so yeah make sure you don't throw that out when you're taking the turbo apart and then that just slides on 
like this. So next you take the oil seal plate, which is this. Um, kit comes with it. I'm sure you could use the old one if you really wanted to. And then the oil baffle here. So these two actually connect together like that. But you just need one thing and this is snap ring, kind of like a piston ring. And it goes in the groove on the oil baffle there. So that's what it looks like when it's on there. It's kind of loose, that's normal. And then you go like this. Put those together and then pretty sure they snap together once you press them in. So once you snap them together, that's how it's gonna look. And you will hear a snap when it's fully in. It moves a little tiny bit, not much. And uh, don't forget, now we got to do the O-ring. So always lube up your own rings I'm sure most of you already know that. Just a little bit, and then I'll rub the rest around. And then it just goes in that groove right there. And there you can see, that's the groove. Make sure you put it in and as even as possible. And make sure this is clean. Press that in there. It will seal up with the O-ring. So when it's fully seated, that's what it should look like. It should be almost flush with that, that material right there. And then you take the snap ring that comes in the kit. And then you throw that in there in that final groove. Best way to do this is with snap ring pliers, or I guess two screwdrivers. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I'll put that in there and then I'll show you what's next. So that is what it looks like. I would consider that the hard part is now done. Uh, I gotta run and pick up my compressor wheel from the post office. And then I gotta take the other turbo off the truck because I'm not using the 8470 and I don't want to use this 11 centimeter housing way too small so got the other turbo out of the truck picked up the new comp wheel look at that nice billet wheel looks pretty snazzy so showed you the comp wheels this is the 8477 or 8476 can't remember what what size exactly and just to show you comparison that's the 8470 you can see it's quite a bit bigger uh, i just wanted to point out i said earlier in the video that you can interchange uh parts from the hx50 hx52 and 55 so some of the turbine shafts aren't interchangeable, but lucky for me, mine are. So what you're looking for is uh, they come with single grooves, double grooves, and then single grooves where two go into, I believe. And luckily these two both have the double groove. There's two in there. So these will be interchangeable. You're also gonna wanna keep an eye on the lengths because some will be longer and some will be shorter, I believe. So these are completely interchangeable, the 8470 and the 8477, uh, because they have that and it's the same length. And obviously diameter here is the same. So I'm gonna clean this up real good. And then I'm gonna show you the last two things from the kit. That so I got those uh, rings out. Uh, you're going to want to clean it the best you can, the whole thing. Brake clean, or if you don't have brake clean, just use some penetrating oil. Try to get most of the dirt out. Then wipe it down, and then you're going to put in your new snap ring there. And there's the two of them for me. Might be different for your turbo. And what you do when you put those on is you just slightly expand as even as possible. So you don't end up bending one. 
Okay, so that's what the that's what it looks like when you have them in there. Um, next, make sure your hands are as clean as you can have them, and then obviously the whole shaft super clean too. And you're gonna take that clean oil from before if you still have it out. Uh, coat this whole shaft with it, and then we're gonna send it through from this other side here. But we have to make sure to put on this uh, backing piece here. I'm not actually not sure what that's called, but goes on the back. Okay, so I oiled up the shaft. I put on this back piece and I sent it through. And you're gonna wanna make sure that it gets past both those uh, snap rings we just put on to the turbine shaft. That's about the spacing you're looking for on the back there. And you can always spin it to make sure it's moving freely. And it seems pretty good. So now uh, we can put on the compressor wheel. So I got the final nut on there, basically almost up tight. Uh, remember it's the first reverse thread for these. So you're gonna wanna put 12 point over here and then whatever size your nut is here, I think there's two options. It's either this 14 or it's a star nut, depending if you have a HX50 or 52. And the torque spec for all of them is, with this wheel size is uh, 150 inch pounds, which is around 17 foot pounds. So it's, it's really not that much. And that is because this is reverse thread, so it's not gonna come off anyways. So that's basically the full rebuild right there. I don't wanna make the video too long. All you gotta do is put on your turbine housing and the compressor housing. And those are just held on with the simple V-bands. It's not, nothing hard about that. They just go around here when you clamp them together. Um, so yeah, I might, add a video or a little clip at the end of this video to show you the truck running with the new compressor wheel or I'll make it a separate video. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully that helps.